Hey everyone, it's Tom here from WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast and 3dstarpoint.com and I've got something really exciting to share with you today. It's something completely new in the 3D printing industry, at least the fused filament fabrication 3D printing industry. So what I want to show you is, you can see up here, this is my little 3D printing studio. I've got a couple of 3D printers and I have over 50 spools of filament of different colors and materials. That's the reality of 3D printing. When you get into it, for you know, uh, if you get into it at all, you, you end up getting a couple of 3D printers and you have all these different spools of filament. And the problem is, when these spools run out, you can see this one's almost out, you're left with this really large, heavy plastic spool and you know, you can't use it again. It's a completely disposable product. And unfortunately, many of the manufacturers, here's another typical one that um, is just about empty. Uh, the problem is none of these manufacturers put a recycle symbol on these filament spools. They're probably made of ABS or some common plastic, but who knows? And I commonly every month have six or eight of these that I've gone through and they're just piling up and I've you know tried to give them to my kids to do a craft project with somehow reuse them in some way but inevitably I end up getting left with many of these kicking around the house until I finally give up and throw them in a recycle bin and I hope they get recycled but you know as is true with most products that are plastic and not identified as to what plastic they are, they often don't get recycled. They end up in landfill or they get chopped up and try to be used, reused as something in that sort of other plastic category. And so this is a significant problem. And also the different sizes of these filament um, spools that are out there are, you know, there, there's so many different sizes. You can see from small ones to big ones that they're kind of hard to deal with. Well, I've got something really exciting to share with you today. So Village Plastics, which is one of the original and largest filament manufacturers in the US out of Ohio, has come up with something completely different. What they've done is two things. They've started to distribute plastic in a coil that's not on a spool and decoupled it from the spool. And what makes perfect sense because all of us into 3D printing love to print things. They've created your own 3D printable, reusable spool. And this system is designed completely to reduce what they're distributing in terms of plastic, not shipping spools anymore. You can take this coil and mount it on the spool and reuse them all the time. You can just, you know, print as many of these as you need if you have a 3D printer that's large enough or if you don't, you can actually buy these printed very inexpensively from another, um, you know, from one of several different sources that Village Plastics has authorized and licensed to be able to print and sell these to you. So now, in the future, and it'll take a while for me to go through all this filament, but I would bet a year from now, there's not going to be all these different kinds of spools up there. I will have multiples of these and you know this one I printed myself and it's pretty cool. It's a pretty um, you know complex uh, little piece and you can see here, I don't know if you can see it in, in the light I have here, but this is actually created. Um, Slant 3D is the company that helped create this uh, new spool and it's really a pretty ingenious piece of engineering because you print one piece you print this twice and then you put them together you you just print them twice you put them together and you rotate them and they lock together and you do that obviously you want to put the coil in there and I'm gonna demonstrate that on another video that'll be on 3dstarpoint.com and actually the blog post for today's WTFFF podcast where I interview Steve Gall from Village Plastics about the creation of this and the distribution of it, which now it is out and available. So if you are a 3D printer, whether you're a professional or a hobbyist or you know a student, 
And uh, I really recommend you go and download this. And you can see here it has KVP, which is Keen Village Plastics, the people that have created this. And they're who I interviewed on today's WTFFF podcast. Um, this is It's a really brilliant piece of engineering that you would go and not buy, you know, buy filament that doesn't have a spool in it, print as many of, the, of these spools as you need, and buy a coil of filament instead of on a disposable spool that can't be recycled very easily at all. And um, now you, you've dealt with the whole waste problem, which exists in this 3D printing machine. It's kind of ironic because 3D printers are very well known for, you know, you print objects of all different kinds and, you know, many different sizes. Obviously, this is a pretty big 3D print that I've done here, but, you know, you can do really small objects. And the great thing about 3D printing is there's really very little, almost no waste when you make something on your 3D printer. It really only uses the amount of material that it needs for the product, unlike many other manufacturing processes where in order to get some good parts, you've got to waste a whole lot of material. Well, this has sort of been ironic that you have these big spools when you use up your filament that have no recycle symbol and you can't recycle and it ends up being a big problem and you know I, I have too many of these lying around so now in the future I'm printing all my own spools again this is a really ingenious piece of engineering of a 3D printed part really of any kind of engineered part to make this so you can print this rather quickly on your 3D printer you print two of them you put a coil you, you buy a coil of filament and you put it in uh, on this spool, close it up, and then use it just like you would any conventional spool of material. And um, I think you're going to be much better off. And you can even, if you don't want to buy 50 spools like I would need for all of my filament, you actually can take the coil back off of the reusable spool to store it and then put it back on a spool when you need it. So if you have some colors like, you know, I do that I, I won't use in the next six months, you don't have to buy or 3D print your own spool for every single one. But I, I just think this is fantastic. Keen Village Plastics and Slant 3D for engineering this piece have done a fantastic job in solving a significant problem in the 3D printing industry that no one's really talking about. So. Please come to 3dstarpoint.com where you'll find a blog post for the episode today on WTFFF that is all about this new spool and what a game changer it is in the 3D printing industry. Thanks so much. Talk to you next time.